Of course. I reflect with the players, not with you. No. Of course, and I don't have to say. I had a meeting with the players. I'm working for the future. And um, I don't have to share with you. Did they react well to what you guys spoke about? Is there positivity here after that meeting? Everybody spoke. And uh, not everybody, not one by one, but lots of people were speaking and we were uh, discussing and we were uh, very interactive and it was good, but uh, I don't go to details with you. I keep saying to you and to many of you that I don't comment on what the others say because I have my own opinion about things and I don't need to know what other people think. The rest of the question was, how do you feel your players handled themselves at that time? My question is, uh, my point is that um, if you want to speak about Champions League, you have to go to Wenger or to Pellegrino because they are in the Champions League. They are representing England in the Champions League. They have one match to play and to win and to, to go to the quarterfinal. I hope that, I wish that. And um, if you want to speak about Champions League, you have to speak with them. Uh, we are not in the Champions League, we are out of the Champions League. We played eight matches, we lost zero, but we were not um, good enough. We didn't make um, the result that we need to go to the, um, to the quarterfinal, so we are out of the Champions League. To speak now, in the Champions League, me, my players, uh, and and our people here is to speak about Champions League next season. We need to finish top four. If we want to be head of the group with the new criteria next season, we need to be champion because only the champion is is head of group next season. Doesn't have a relation to the coefficient, so we cannot be protected by the 16 points we did for England. In this campaign, we did 16 points, but these 16 points are important for England, but are not important for us because to be head of group, we need to be champions. And this is our focus. We have 11 matches to play in the Premier League. We want to be champions to win the Premier League, but also to, to be back to the Champions League in a, a position where we can be head of group. To speak about Premier, uh, to speak about uh, Champions League now, I think you should go to Arsenal. You should go to Man City because they are the ones. In terms of your players' conduct in the Premier League moving forward, in that competition only, if they surround the referees after the incident, if they surround, the, if they surround the referee, um, we are uh, charged, and um, we have to pay a fine, and. Um, if we do that, the players pay the fine. We have in this moment, I think eight or nine months of competition. We were charged once and uh, we pay for that. It's so simple as that. You noted that it's not just Chelsea that do this and it happens throughout the game. Is that is there? Go to the Premier League and see how many teams were charged and how many times, I don't know. The only thing I can say is that Chelsea was charged once. You said that after the game that you, you, your players couldn't handle mentally some of the pressure. Is your responsibility then to, to teach them and train them how to cope with that pressure? It's always my responsibility. It's always my responsibility. But the people, the the people, the people that lost, the people, the people that was out of the Champions League uh, last Wednesday is the same people that is top of the Premier League since day one is the same people that won the, the Carling Cup is the same people that is going to win the Premier League. We are exactly the same people. How do you ensure that the, the Premier League campaign doesn't suffer as a result of what happened in Madrid? You've dealt with it in the past. What's the best way to deal with it? Why are you so pessimist in life? Okay. It's more difficult to succeed. You have to be optimistic, you know? You, maybe you are a guy with great potential and 
You don't move on because you are so pessimist. Be, be, be optimistic. Be optimistic. Believe in yourself. Be, be, be positive. You know, we, we want to win against uh, Southampton. We, we have 11 matches to play. We have uh, an advantage of five points. We have one match in hand. We cannot, promi we cannot promise that we win every game. We cannot even promise that we win uh, uh, the Premier League. But we are optimistic. You look very pessimistic. I, I think you, you have to enjoy life in a different way. Okay, so move on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Are you working particularly on how you defend from headers? You conceded five headed goals since the end of January. Is that particularly on the agenda here to work on improving that? I know. I know. In the last three matches, uh, in the last four matches, we had two clean sheets and we conceded three goals. And the three goals we conceded were in, uh, were in individual headers in, uh, in corners. Uh, one against Burnley and two against uh, against Paris Saint Germain. We know we know that we know that, but obviously, obviously, we work. In the last game against Southampton, there was a penalty appeal for Chris Fabregas. He was booked for it. You talked afterwards of it being a scandal and a complaint against your players. You got fined for that, so I don't want you to get in trouble for that. But moving forward, has anything changed since that game in terms of how your players are treated in terms of appealing? You know this, our story in uh, in the Premier League, from especially from that moment. You know what happened. You know what happened in that in that game, and in some other games. But uh, we move on. The referee move on. The referee is a good one. Yeah, he was the referee of the Capital Cup final, and did the work without any kind of of critic from any one of, of both teams. They move on, we move on, and we have to go. We have to keep moving around the room, Andy. Thank you, uh, Jonathan. As you, you talked there about the players, or some of your players not taking the pressure, did that surprise you from this group of players you've got? You know, I repeat, I don't want to go back. I want to go forward. I think they will cope with the pressure of, of playing against Southampton. Well, we are having key games since the beginning of the season. But when it comes to the actual crunch, when you, to win the title, you make You know, I think it's more, uh, it's more difficult to start the season with the same points as everybody than to play now with an advantage. We start the season with the same points as Man City. We have five, five points more, so more pressure in the beginning. We start the season with the same points as Arsenal. We have nine points more than Arsenal. So I think in this moment it's easier. We failed in a, in a knockout in a knockout game. We failed in one knockout game. We didn't fail in in knockout against uh, Liverpool. We failed against Bradford. We didn't fail against uh, Bolton and and Shrewsbury. We failed in the last um, in the last game. But the reality is that we don't lose a game. We don't lose a game. Um, since the Bradford game, uh, we lost two matches in the Premier League all season. Uh, since the 1st of January, we only lost the game against, uh, against Bradford. In the Champions League, maybe it's a unique case to be out of the Champions League without one single defeat. Um, you know, I'm not like you and I'm not like people in your area that the nature of your job is that you go with the wind. The wind blows to that side, you go to that side. The wind blows to that side, you go to that side. I'm not like that with my players. I like my players and I trust my players when I win and when I lose. You know, I cannot, I cannot be like the wind. So I support my players, I am with my players. We lose together, we win together. And I repeat, and I repeat. Um, I wish Man City and Arsenal, they do better than us. I wish England goes to the quarterfinal with both teams, or at least with, with one of them. The only thing we could do for, for English football this season was uh, 16 points 
to 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 support the the coefficient and we couldn't do more than than that what we can do now for for ourselves and for our club is to win the premier league is the only thing we play we have 11 matches to play till the end of the season all of them the same competition is only one competition now for us and um our situation is is good is better than anybody else everyone would love to be in our in our position and this is what we want to do and uh yesterday I closed with the players the chapter Champions League. We closed, we closed the chapter, and um, the only thing we want to speak about Champions League this season is that if we are champions, next season we are um, we are top of, of, of we are top seed. We've got we've got about two minutes left in this section to get some team news in because we will be finishing in two minutes. You know. Um, the world is a bit strange because maybe because of uh, of diet and maybe because of the quality of the products we are eating uh, i think memories are are getting shorter uh because you know when Jamie Carragher and Graham Souness they speak about it <laughs> is because they are having is because they are having a they are having a problem for sure um the game finished and and just to to close the, the the chapter Champions League really also with you, the game finished. I was in the tunnel. I was in the tunnel and uh, one by one, uh, not just the players, the coaches and everybody from Paris Saint Germain. I I shook their hands. I told them you deserve. I told them good luck for uh, for the future. And uh, this was the way uh, we behave after. A defeat and this was the example my players get uh, after a defeat i went to my dressing room i put everybody together not just the players and because i am uh, normally very calm and i think uh, we deserve to go home and reflect and think and after that yes speak without any any kind of, of doubt or any kind of emotion this is what we did um, and because I'm not like him and I'm very optimistic, uh, we also spoke in that moment about our future. And our future is uh, try to win the Premier League. And if we win the Premier League, a season with a Premier League and the Capital Cup is a, is a brilliant season. Is a brilliant season. And um, this is the way I am and this is the way, the way I work. I'm not like people want me to be. I'm not like people sometimes like me likes to describe me i am i am like that but but really uh jamie stopped to play uh, a couple of years ago in two years he forgot everything he did on the pitch and uh and mr saunas uh, also forgot but he, he stopped to play for quite a long time and he also forget that um a couple of years after he left benfica i coached benfica i know a lot about him I lost I lost so much about him, but obviously um, I am a certain kind of of education, not just in in football, but especially in life. And I prefer to laugh. And I prefer to laugh. And I prefer to say that the envy is the biggest tribute that the shadows do to the man. It's about life. Okay, we need to move on, Matt or Simon, please. No. <laughs> Look, my doctor told me after the game, maybe tomorrow we have a few injuries. Why? Because we lost, because people is, uh, because people is sad. Maybe tomorrow we have a couple of injuries. I told the doctor, I don't believe. Zero injuries. Everybody wants to play. Everybody wants to play. Nobody is doing like what some journalists do when they write bullshit. The next press conference, they don't come. <laughs> <laughs> my players don't do that. You know, my players don't do that. They want to play. Simon.
feel about Chelsea and Chelsea and Arsenal is winning all the time? Uh, Chelsea is top of the league since they won. Uh, Chelsea is, is not playing now. Um, you could see in the last game at the same level we were playing for many months. But for many months we play better than anyone. Better than anyone in this country. And that's why I keep saying you go with the wind. The wind blows to one side and you go with the wind. But in that moment, the wind was in one direction where you, you were all saying that Chelsea was a candidate to win the, uh, the Champions League because Chelsea was playing fantastic. You were saying that Chelsea um, had conditions to win um, every competition because Chelsea was playing, uh, was playing fantastic. We cannot play fantastic um, all season. I don't know one single team uh, that plays fantastic all season. And um, we had our lowest point in terms of, of performance. We had our lowest point in a moment where we couldn't, uh, we couldn't have. So we lost the game. We are out of, uh, of the competition. Mm -hmm.